morning, Gracians. Welcome to our daily devotional, Grace Every Morning. I'm Pastor Rebecca, and I'm the campus pastor in Grace Assembly, given the privilege to pastor students in tertiary institutions and universities, and also the NS guys. Today, we'll be reflecting on Acts chapter 15, and this passage captures for us how the early church dealt with the issue of circumcision and the law of Moses, clarifying that both Jews and Gentiles alike are saved purely by the grace of God through the finished work of Christ on the cross and not by works. The key verse that stood out to me in this chapter is verse 11. Let's take a look at this verse. Peter said, We believe that we are all saved the same way by the undeserved grace of the Lord Jesus. Some Jews from Judea came teaching a doctrine of salvation by works, saying to the Gentile converts that no one can be saved without circumcision and adherence to the law of Moses. Peter reminds them that salvation is by grace through faith alone, both for the Jews and Gentiles alike. Growing up as a Christian, I've often found the second greatest commandment to love your neighbour as yourself to be really difficult to obey. When I witnessed bullying in school against a classmate, nothing in me was persuaded to love these bullies in school. To love those who are difficult to love is a great challenge. Yet I am convicted to not just love those who are easy to love, but also those who are difficult to love. Such experiences always remind me of my great need for God to change me and empower me to love with His love. While struggling to fulfill this commandment in the Bible, I am reminded of how Christ came to fulfill all the law of the prophets so that through Him, we are justified as righteous before God. It is impossible for us to fulfill all these laws and commandments by our own human efforts. I am so thankful that we are saved by God's grace alone and not by our works because we will surely fail. I thank God that out of His own grace, God sent Jesus to save us by dying on the cross for you and I. What gripped my heart is the high price that Jesus paid with His life to save us. If God can love and save me, a great sinner, I can also love someone else who do not deserve it. It was really after a year of molding by God that I initiated a conversation with these bullies and ultimately grew my friendship with them with God's help. I'm so glad that it is not by our own works that we are safe. If it is because of works, I will surely fail as a human. I will always struggle to keep all of God's commandments and my works will never measure up. Let us not give in to the temptation of thinking that by our own good works, we can gain our salvation and in so doing, nullify what Christ has done for us on the cross. Take time to give thanks to God for your salvation often, affirming that salvation is by grace through faith alone and not by works. Whenever you take Holy Communion, it is, import it is an important reminder of what Christ has done on the cross in order to save us. Let us give thanks to God right now for our salvation. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for saving us by sending your only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us. In Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9, it tells us that God saved us by His grace when we believed. And we can't take credit for this. It is a gift from God. Salvation is not a reward for the good things we have done, so none of us can boast about it. We believe that we are saved by your grace alone and not by works. Help us to love others with the same grace that we have received. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do take some time to look at the application reflections prepared for you and your family. And do join us again next Monday at Grace every morning. Have a great weekend ahead.